what different rent, brilliant. You want in a billion? World innocent. That's so dangerous. And you got, uh, I can't hear anything with my headphones on. Sure. And the size of feeling so strong when you fingers on the fingertips and try to hold on for your life. I've been wrong, I've been right. But when I saw you tonight, you made me reconsider all that I know to be true. I need you, baby. Get that pussy wetter than a stream of river. Along with weed and liquor, little cuisine for dinner. I could change your life drastically and hold you down like gravity. Cause never need me. I'm downtown looking for my baby. Every time she needs me, make my heart go crazy, my love. Made my heart go crazy, my love. Ah, ah, ah. And you. And mic check. One, two, three. One, two, three. I forgot you had to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to, can you fucking believe it? Another episode of the Not Good Enough Podcast hosted we by. Die. Woo. Yeah. Uh, we're, co- what do we do to this podcast? We host it. This this is Andy. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> He's Holy a little sh- winded. Oh my god! I guess uh, yeah, or something. But yes, this is the Not Good Enough podcast, hosted by myself, Andy, and my co-host David. David. My name is David. Yes, and uh, we're wearing masks now. We got you know COVID safe. You know yes. we got here. Yeah, I have, that Delta variant. I'm gonna fucking rising, bitch. Yeah, I have a preference of wearing a mask. Uh, David has wanted to continue episodes, uh, but the thing is, um, the Delta variant ain't no joke. Yes, we are both vaccinated. However, damn, you know you you don't fucking know. Wow. Holy shit. I mean, if if we're lucky, we die today. <laughs> yeah. And if we are lucky, we die in our sleep. That's uh, the luckiest. Man, we're, that we we're, we're going to Heath Ledger way. Uh, there's uh, a little uh, more involved, I <laughs> with Heath Ledger. I got, I got pills, bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, uh, but yeah, welcome back. It's been, well, fuck, it's been like a month now, right? Once, we yeah. did episode 42, I think like, I think it was like early, early, early August. Mm-hmm. Uh, so shit. I mean, well, fuck. Welcome back. Yeah. Then I honestly, I didn't think this was gonna happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After like the second week, it, I just got used to not having to do shit on Fridays. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, ah, fuck it. But but well, we you, were gonna you, do it last week. We, yeah. But uh, yeah, I've been having blood pressure. But then issues. you like you know wanted to skip because you've been having high blood pressure. Yeah, I've been having high blood pressure only on fucking Fridays too. Is the worst part. Huh. Well, Friday, dude, Friday's been shitty at work. Nah, basically, so work has been stressful as fuck. Right. I mean, I got some good news about work, which I'll get into, but, mm-hmm. um, yeah, and the work has been stressful as fuck. It's like everybody named moms just come in at, at, to fucking work on, or come to my work on Friday. Mm-hmm. And it's just make it difficult for us, you know, cause I'm mm-hmm. the one running all the vaccines, uh, which on Fridays, like today it was about like 40, 50 right. shots, not just mm-hmm. COVID either. Like most of them, a lot of them were, a lot of them were flu shots today. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm also running most of the tests as well. So like, you know, I'm giving a shot and then as soon as I'm done with the shot, a lot of time I go back in the other side of the room and then run the COVID test. So I'm out here doing both of this shit and then I got to add that to the shit that I'm already was doing. Mm-hmm. I'm already was doing. Yeah. That I'm already was doing. So you've had a week, man. It's it's okay. No, I've had a month. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it's been, it's been kind of difficult, but the good news is I just got promoted again. I hit the ceiling. For this the, is the ceiling. The seventh time you hit the ceiling. Yes. Okay. It's my what fifth promotion in three years. Yeah, I'm yep. now pharmacy operation manager. Pharmacy operations manager. Yeah, got because a, they got, got rid of, of everybody else, and you are all that's left. Is that what happened? No, I was actually first choice. Oh shit! They are. They have no other choice. No, they have one other choice. Goddamn. Oh really? Yeah, I just I was more knowledgeable. Nice. Which really comes down to that because she's she's okay. a really good choice. I'm not gonna lie. My coworker sure. Ashley, she's a really good choice, um, but yeah, and then the other people just don't qualify. But not, okay, you know, I already had, a, I already was gunning for the job, and then uh, I just had more experience. Um, so it was really what it boiled down to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't anything else than that because sure, th- there was also no other candidates besides bringing something new to the store. But mm-hmm. to bring someone new in the store, you'd have to get rid of somebody already there because we don't have the hours. Mm. So it's like, you know, you lose somebody in the store to get somebody you haven't worked with. That's going to then be the boss 
of the pharmacy besides the pharmacy manager. Basically, yeah. I am assistant to the pharmacy manager. Hooray! No, wait, assistant pharmacy manager. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, the assistant too. No, you assistant. Nice, good shit, man. Basically, good shit. Yeah, Look basically. You management. Yeah, you rocking more transactions and shit. No, not yet. Oh, okay. No, no, next meeting. Next. I, I've been trying to get my name on the door. They're not gonna do it. Just print your name out. I was like, bro, it fits right underneath the pharmacy <clears throat> manager. It's like a little slot, bro. Just do it. Just go into the office and like print out, like type up your name and just print it out, and then just like slide it, up. or just like oh, dude, a, honestly, a post-it note. <laughs> if I was in management, I would one hundred percent do that. If you weren't management, yeah, but not management. You know, if I do that shit, then everybody else is gonna do that shit. You know what I mean? You know, you know what it is. You, you used but, to be manager there, right? But shift lead, you know, nothing important. But clearly, we just did everything, as you know. No, you didn't do anything. I did most of your work. Yeah. You, I had to supervise you. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to count drawers, and you told me to count them drawers. Yeah, I remember. Yo, I remember. Yeah, and then that got you in there. The worst shit. Like, you want me to count? You want me to count the drawers? You want? You hey hey Andy. <laughs> you what? You what? Hey. Chee. It- <laughs> yo, <laughs> we talking about you. Jesus. <laughs> there was a couple of days where we just talk about religion. How much we don't fucking follow it. Like yo, we talk about Jesus. <laughs> now the worst shit Andy's ever done to me, yo. I uh, I was taking out the trash and like you know it was, it was heavy and the the shit was up high, like basically my height. So like it was like you know six feet high, up in the air. Uh, <laughs> and then I had to like swing to like bring the fucking garbage bag over the shit, and my head swung back and hit a piece of wood, and I got a concussion <laughs> in the middle of the workplace, right? Uh, you know, and guess what yeah. this motherfucker Andy do, bro? He hand me three drawers full of money. Hey, yo, go put this back. I looked at him. I said, bro, I can't do this. He's like, bro, I need to count this last drawer in there. You got to take this drawers back. <laughs> and I'm over here fucking dizzy as shit. The room is spinning. I'm like, yo, I don't know if I'm going to make it. And I was like, after I did it, somehow I didn't drop any money. I went back to Andy. I'm like, yo, bro, I got a concussion. He was like, did you drop the money? And I was like, no. And he was like, well, you're good now. It doesn't matter. Just take a seat. <laughs> And he's a piece of shit, bro. Get- <laughs> Thank God he's not manager anymore. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you what, the corporate mentality made you know made me into that person. You managed like, for like a year. Yes. Jesus. I'm, oh, I'm yes. manager for two days and I already wanted to fire people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I didn't want to fire anybody because I needed them to, to do stuff. Well, to be frank, you couldn't you couldn't fire people. Even if I could. You could just send them complaints. People got to send no complaints to me. How do you think I feel? <laughs> I got to do all the complaints. Most of them are probably about me and my loud mouth in the pharmacy. Yeah. Well, you know. And they wouldn't go to you then. It would go above you. Uh, that's or me. Or beside you. So it would go to the pharmacist. Everybody's beside me. Just playing. <laughs> oh, God. Just thought I'd fit that joke in there. Uh, But no, that, yeah, no, I got a raise. Finally. And I'm getting Good another shit. raise now because, uh, you know, the yearly evaluations and shit. Yo, I fucking... Okay. And here's the thing, bro. I get lucky every year. Whenever I get a raise, it's right before... Or whenever I get a promotion, it's right before the yearly raise. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the yearly raise takes into account your position code. And my position code keeps changing right before the reviews are, are due. Mm-hmm. So I just get more money because of my position code change. Oh, that's just wonderful, dude. Dude, I could be making 20 bucks hopefully by in the next two months. They have an S. 20 bucks an hour? That would be really oh, nice. Dude, mm-hmm. I'm going straight to fucking, um, what's that place called? Shoeonline.com. Kings of Diamonds. Kings of Diamonds? Yeah. The online gambling? No, bro, the strip club in oh, Atlanta. Christ. We can go together. Yeah, that's right. We never really did get that, that uh, bachelor party, correct? <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> Oh, we did. What were we doing your bachelor party? We went to Applebee's. Uh, we went to Applebee's we and then we went Fridays. back home. It was to, Fridays. Was it Fridays? Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. It was basically Applebee's. We went to Fridays and then um, we went back to your house and we watched TikTok videos. Yeah. Compilations or yeah. Vine compilations. It was, it was Vines Vine. back in the day. Yeah. yeah, back. Yeah, two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, Vine compilations, and we had a fucking blast. Let me tell you, we had a fucking good time. <laughs> Oh man, Andy was afraid to give me alcohol. I was like, just give me some, and then I he gave me a little sip, and I fucking hated it. I'm grateful, son of a. 
<laughs> Piece of shit. Get better alcohol. I know. The uh, engagement party, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I forgot what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, your engagement party? My engagement party. Yo, you got fucking lit, bro. Woo! Yo, <laughs> I, I, I'm never going back to the house ever again. <laughs> Why? Bro, on the way out, there was a, uh, there's a, I fucking, yo, on the way out of his engagement party, first of all, he's drunk as fuck. I'm like saying bye. He's like, yo, I fucking love you, bro. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. over here like, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, sir. <laughs> but anyway, it was like this really nice uh, house that his yeah. friends lived in, um, and w- which was all wheelchair accessible. And then um, I have to, uh, you know, just, you know, bring the scenery in. Uh, so I'm leaving and I close the door and I, and I, I do the thing where you close the door, but you don't look behind you, you know, cause you're, you know, you're, you're like too good at being a human. They can just do shit without looking directly at it. So I close the door behind me and all I hear is a drop. And I thought it was like my wallet or some shit. So I turn around, there's a fucking snake on the floor and I'm looking at the snake. I'm like, there's no way this shit real, bro. And he's just look at, he, he like fucking moves up slowly and he does this shit. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit. So I start fucking screaming, running back to my car, and I call Andy. I'm like, yo, there's a fucking snake outside. And he's over here talking about something. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andy's a fucking fool when he gets drunk. Yeah. That's why you, you ruined your MacBook or something like that, right? Yeah. You like spilled water, alcohol? It was water. Yeah, no, it was It was water. pure tequila. It just looked like water. It was pure H2O. Yeah, I'm telling you. Dog, yeah. No, that shit. <sighs> it doesn't matter. It was old. Yeah, yeah, it's slow. Oh, now Andy has a, an iPhone, guys. That's right. Hooray! Andy, back to the Apple trade. So why? So why did you change? Because you were talking mad shit about my iPhone a couple months ago. Yeah. When I spent a thousand dollars on it. Yeah, you spent a thousand dollars on it. Well, technically it's credit. <laughs> oh my god, we gotta pay it back. In, you know, eventually, probably, maybe this guy. Maybe one day. Yeah, I doubt it. Me too. <laughs> There's a lot of other shit I gotta pay. No, I this was <clears throat> what like three fifty or something like that. Just the the base one that I got. You got with, you um, all right? Yeah. Oh boy, yeah. no debt. Yeah, uh, trying not to get any more debt than I already, <laughs> already have. <laughs> yeah, I got enough. I'm getting rid of it. I don't want to add more to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I feel you. So yeah, we got uh, I got we got myself a new phone and um. You know, I was like, I was having issues. Actually, this is a cool thing to talk about. I was having issues with the phone that I had. It was an LG G6. It just kept bringing up porn problems. <laughs> yeah. Trying to text my mom. And I'm like, <clears throat> it was like, your 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 PC has, uh, you know, what, whatever. And I'm like, what your PC fuck? is slow. Your PC is slow. Run this speed test now to fix and exactly. diagnose your like issues. The, the flash, the... The, the flashing, you know, blue, whatever, Yeah, with the speedometer the on the bottom, and right? And I'm like, you know, what the fuck is it? It's, this is a cellular device. You Shit, know? running Windows, bro? I <laughs> the fuck? No, this is, stop. Okay, no, that's not what happened. Um, So, just one day, like, um, I no longer had any, like, reception. And I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Like yep. what? What did I do? What? Like, did I? What do you want like, from me? What is what? happening? Like, I um, I normally am pretty good with the base knowledge of technology. Like, and I'm like very basic a little knowledge. bit higher than the base level, but I'm not in IT. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, no, because you're in graphic I, design. Yeah, twice. So, Twice, yes. I loved it so much I did it again. <laughs> so, I mean, I understand technology and all that shit, right? So I'm like, I ain't, I ain't do nothing. You know? <laughs> like, I, I ain't do nothing. You know, like, this was working 12 hours ago. <laughs> so I'm at my house, on the couch. No fucking reception. I'm like, babe, what? how many bars you got? <laughs> yeah, we have to, we have to, we're on the same plan, right? So uh-huh. we get the same provider. And she's like, I got three and a half, four bars or whatever it is. And I'm like, I got one. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then I, and I'm at, at my job. And, you know, inside the building, there's really no reception. You know, mm-hmm. that's fine. It's just a big ass metal building, right? And it, that happens, right? So I'm going outside. One fucking bar. I'm like, 
the hell is happening to my working? phone? Something's wrong, Did right? Did it still work or it's just going slow? It was still working, but like I would send a message and she, you know, when I'm at work and mm-hmm. then she'll get it when I get home. <laughs> and I'm like, the fucking point is... <laughs> you to know? get it now, not to fucking carry your pigeon across the radio waves. Fuck. It's like me writing a note, putting it in my pocket, taking it home with me and then hand, yeah. hand delivering <laughs> the note. That's exactly what was happening. So I'm like, we got to go to our provider and we have Boost, right? Oh, oof. why the fuck you got Boost? Uh, well, I used to have Verizon, so I am making my steps better. Okay. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so she had the plane. I joined her. Doesn't matter. Um, so I got that right. And we didn't have any problems oh. until now, but I'm the only one that's having problems. So. It's my phone. Something's wrong with my phone. Right. So I'm like, guys, what the fuck is happening with my phone? And they're like, oh, uh, well, this is a Sprint device, actually. And they're taking down towers. Oh, because they got bought out by T-Mobile. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean they're taking down towers? They got bought out by T-Mobile. No notification. No nothing. This happened like I two years ago. No fucking idea. Well, if they got bought out, that's one thing. But people are gonna not have reception. You Fuck know, those that people. Ha- I was one of those people. <laughs> Switch to T-Mobile. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bro, you had it better than me. I had it better than you. Yes, when I had my iPhone seven, right, that I got in like eleventh grade or tenth grade, I had that shit until right before I moved out. So I was like. I just turned 19 that day, mm. right? My shit had no service. <laughs> Not one bar. Randomly. I just woke up and the shit had no bars. I'm like, <laughs> okay. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I don't just use this every fucking time I drive, which is every fucking day. Mm. Three times a day, mm-hmm. you know? And uh, I- I'm just like, I mean, ugh, this shit's starting to piss me off. I'm like, what is going on? Uh, well, yeah, it just turns out it's just like that because I went to the Verizon store because mm. I had Verizon and they're mm. like, yeah, nah, bro, you got to upgrade. I'm like, bro, I'm moving out in like a week, bro. <laughs> I don't got the money for an upgrade. I just had to pay $1,200 on a fucking deposit. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, you're going to have to upgrade. And I'm like, yeah. Okay. Well, at least you had one bar, bitch. Yeah, well, for now... You were able to write the note and hand deliver it, bitch. I had to just fucking delete the... Fire the paper up as soon as I fucking lit it. <laughs> I had, wrote the note, hit had, send, and mm, then I ju- it's just caught on fire. You you had the paper, but no pen. Oh, yeah. Mm, I used yeah. P. I just didn't have the black light. <sighs> anyway. um, So, yeah, they're they're like... Yeah, so I mean, plus it's an older phone, blah blah blah, that's and I'm like, old. yeah, it's like three years old. You know, usually cute. I that's do, obsolete. Usually my phones last a long time because I take care of them, right? So you can't do that. It's not a baby, any. It's a phone. You upgrade this shit every two years. Sorry, sorry. With your obsolete technology, <laughs> it doesn't matter. But apparently, it did. So how long? How long did you have one bar for? Because honestly, I had no service for about two weeks before I was able to figure out my finances. <laughs> <laughs> I was, bro. I was fucking. I was. Ooh, uh, I was feeding on Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, it was about a week. Can you imagine not being able to text any green bubbles? Yeah. My yeah. my ex at the time had a fucking Android. She didn't have an iPhone. Uh huh. I wasn't able to text her. Well, and I didn't have WhatsApp or whatever. Whatever you people say. <sighs> I say WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, so. <sighs> Yeah, it it was uh it was about a week that we had like the phone issues because yeah. it was like in the beginning of the week and I'm like, all right, well this weekend we gotta go and see what the fuck's going on. I guess yeah. I'm gonna have to get a new phone probably. I'm like, when was the last time I got this phone? And you know she was like, like 2017, <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Uh, but yeah, um, so. So I was like, all right, well, wh- what do I need a phone for? Um, you would say everything. Um, Yo, but... I was dead ass just about to say that. <laughs> everything. Um, but, like, 
my main use for a phone is communication. Like I would need to be in contact with my wife. That is the most priority thing that I would want to use my phone for, right? Uh -huh. To be realistic with it. And I can't even send a text right now. Like that, that's not good. <laughs> so I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to get the same phone she has because it's working, you know? So that was my mentality coming into that. And I'm like, I've had Apple before, whatever. I've just never had an iPhone. I've had iPads. MacBook. I've had MacBooks, um, you know, desktops. I've worked on those all the time. Yeah. I currently work on them now. So I'm versed with the Apple uh, universe. And, agenda. And the agenda. <laughs> Fucking no, no uh, headphone jack, man. Yeah, but I get used Jeez. to it. Jeez. Although I do Bluetooth like a bitch. wireless charger. That is very nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't like wireless chargers. Mostly because I like having my phone with me. I'm not leaving it someplace, even if it's in my own house. I don't trust myself. Or him. <laughs> well, at, at your bedside, when you're sleeping, do you have your phone in your hand when you're sleeping? Sometimes I fall asleep with it in my hand, yeah. <sighs> oh, that would be a bachelor again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. I mean, honestly, sometimes, I, see, I can't sleep without something playing or something because I'll get a really bad nightmares. So I kind of just have like a YouTube video playing or whatever, and then I just fall asleep by accident. That's cute. Yeah. That's true. And then cute. I wake up and I'm like, fuck, I forgot to charge it. <laughs> Low power mode. <laughs> That's why my regular charger is a fast charger. <laughs> I know. I know. It's bad for the battery. But yeah. yeah well, whatever. I mean, you had the perfect opportunity to like argue with your wife, though. Because, you know, you have to, you have, to use, have the phone to text her, right? You have to have service to text her. But if you argued with her and you guys were in bad terms, then that means you could just have an excuse to not talk to her. But no, you're all lovey-dovey. It must be nice. It is nice. And David, no. <laughs> like, I don't know about you, no. but I, I prefer not to argue. No, I don't prefer to argue either. But this shit attracts me, bro. Mm -hmm. It's not okay. my fault. I'm so bad at, good at it. Stop opening the door. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> um... So that's what's new with me. What's new with you besides a raise? Anything else going on? Yeah, yeah it's been a month. So yeah. tomorrow's a, tomorrow's gonna be a bad day for me. Oh no. Yep. What's T happening? Tomorrow, Saturday the fourth. Uh, I got family and fr and my brother's friends coming over to his house for. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last episode, whatever, or the episode before. My brother, ooh, my brother, I almost said my brother and my sister. I gotta fucking elaborate. My brother and his girlfriend are now mm -hmm. engaged. Right? So Congratulations. Happening. Yep, to them, not me. Don't look at me when you say that. I'm not there yet. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, they don't watch the episode. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I got family and friends coming over for the engagement party tomorrow. And uh, I don't know where I left these people off. You know? Where was the... Because my aunt is coming over, and I haven't seen her in, like, two years. So, I don't want her to, like, come over. You know, I see her, and then she's like... Hey, David, you still with that one girl? I'm like, nope. Fucking nine months late on that one, auntie. Or like, oh, David, what? You got tattoos now? I'm like, yeah, been had that. I don't know where I left them off. You know, what was, the last time I talked to him, I had, I think I wasn't even in pharmacy yet. Now I got to oh. be like, oh, well, I'm in pharmacy uh, and this happened. And yeah, this happened. I don't like fucking talking and I don't like You don't like talking, talking about yourself? That's mm. just what I do here. <clears throat> You Don't like look at me like that, yourself. bitch. You like talking about yourself. No, it's not that I like talking about myself. It's that it's just easier to deal with, you know? Not, not. I don't mean that in like an egotistical way, but I'm saying it's easier. <laughs> it's like, I don't like talking to people, right? Like social interactions, I don't really like it unless mm. I'm like really, really comfortable, which is like, I'm comfortable with you because you're my homeboy, right? But like, I haven't seen how much of these people. <laughs> like, I've nobody. I haven't seen these people. I haven't seen these people in, in two years, right? Yeah. I'm not exact. I haven't seen them in so long. I, I'm not exactly sure what to expect. So that makes me uncomfortable. Sure. You know? I totally get it. Socially. Yeah. So it's easier for me to just talk about myself because I just, I know what to expect because I'm not going to say anything bad. I'm not going to be like, well, you know, I tried to kill myself in 2017. I'm just going to be like, well, look, I just got a promotion to pharmacy operation manager. Just got this. That's. You know, 99% of the time, they're going to react with, oh, that's good. You know, congratulations or something mm -hmm. like that. Nobody's yeah. going to be like, ah, you bitch, and then stab me in the heart <laughs> like my ex did. Um, uh, uh, 
No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but no, you see, like it's I can ex- I know what to expect off that. You know, mm-hmm. it's easy conversation. I don't have to think about what I'm saying. I just have to reiterate what the fuck I've lived through the last couple months. <laughs> it's easier for me, you know, like like a dozen times. Honestly, it hurts me to say, "Hey, Andy," or not. It doesn't hurt me, but I'm saying to regular people, <laughs> mm. it's hard for me to be like, "How are you doing?" Because I only ask questions that I give a fuck about. <laughs> so like. Honestly, sure. the customers okay. they come up to me and they're like, "Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's going good. Here to pick up." I don't go. How's it going for you? Mm-hmm. How's the wife? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mrs. Smith. How she's doing? Mm-hmm. How she's doing? Mm. Whatever. I, I see that you're rusty with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking yeah. is yo. I don't talk mm-hmm. much, man. Social mm-hmm. interactions. I'm comfortable. Mm-hmm. It's my house. But yeah, no. I mean, I don't. I, yeah, I don't know where I left them off in the lore. Gotcha. Well, a and, lot. And happens. my baby cousins are coming. They're like twelve and eleven or something, or twelve and mm-hmm. ten or something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not ready for that, bro. Well, because like I, I don't know if they they reach the age where I'm allowed to cuss. <laughs> I mean, it's a party with like twenty something or thirty something other people. Mm-hmm. So, so, I mean, they're gonna cuss, but sure. am I allowed to? She can't. My aunt can't slap the other people that she doesn't know. She she could try to slap me. I might just leave early. But you're an adult. Yeah, I'll just leave. Yeah, you're 21. Yeah, I'm Hispanic. They don't care what age you are. They'll hit you. Hmm. So, yeah. so I get, I, I'm just going to leave. I'll make sure to park my car where nobody blocks me in. Mm-hmm. That's my that, that's my fucking technique right there. Yeah. If I feel like somebody's going to block me, bro, I'm on, I'm like cross two blocks, bro. I'm going to fuck. Yeah. I was going to say, just park a block away. Yeah. Like on the street or something like that. Why did you park so far? Just in case. <laughs> you know, to get the steps in. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm recording my indoor walk right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you walked outdoors. Mm-hmm. I'm, oh well, I'm always inside yeah. my head. Mm-hmm. See, that was a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's enough though. We got like what forty fucking minutes of or, oh shit. Nice. Yeah. That was twenty five minutes of talking. Oh shit. Hooray. Right. Uh, so yes. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a break, and mm-hmm. then we'll be back. I gotta drink something. My my shit. Yo, my shit. <laughs> I just started scratching, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> Mm-hmm. I love how you can't even see my finger behind my fucking neck. <laughs> but, ah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back in a little bit, and we'll catch you in a second. <laughs> ah, goddamn! <laughs> goddamn it! Yeah, it's been a month. Oh. And oh, welcome on, back. That, yeah, That's we'll we'll talk about that in just a minute. Welcome back to the second half of episode forty-three. 43. My my name is David. <laughs> Fuck, man. I wasn't ready. This is why you got to let me prepare just a tad. Jesus. <clears throat> We've only done this 42 other times. I, no, more. Plus. <laughs> there's, there's been unreleased episodes. There has been recorded 42 times. Anyway. Yes. Um, so we are going to be continuing our... Long, long segment, forgotten. long and forgotten yeah. sometimes segment of um, these open ended questions. But uh, before that, we needed an update on uh, David's third ball that yes. he was talking so much about uh, in these recent episodes of ours. Yes. So it has so. been about three to four weeks since we have done this. So, progress? Is uh. it gone? Uh no. If anything, I think it's gotten bigger. It's like the same size as like the the normal the one that's supposed to be a testicle. Uh nah. So basically, I, I did have my daughter's appointment uh two weeks okay. ago. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but you know the doctor gonna give you some like not some bad news, but like some he don't give a fuck news by the way he come in and greet you. He came out to me. He's like, my name is Doctor Kama. Nice to meet you. Literally, how the fuck he came in? I'm like, all right, bro. This dude's like sixty something, and he 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 dapping me up with the wrist, bro. Like, w- w- you know, why gone? Um, so basically, I'm shit out of luck. What? Yeah, I'm shit out of luck. He said, first of all, I dropped my pants, uh, and he was like, you know, it's not that big. It looks like one centimeter. And I looked at him. I'm like, bitch, what? Are- I wanted to be like, yo, it's like the same size, bro. Like, 
squeezed it a little bit. I wanted to say, but I, you know, my pride was too much, Andy. <laughs> I didn't want another man doing that. Well, externally, I bet it looked, you know, smaller than it was oh, because bro, it's you, internal. You can't even see it externally because it's not to the side; it's to the back. Uh huh. You know, uh, so. He was like, it's kind of small. It's like one centimeter. And I was like, oh, it's definitely bigger than that. <laughs> and he's like, do you remember how much they, how big they said it was uh, in the ultrasound when you went to the ER? And I was like, bigger than that. I don't know. How, it's, it's not. It, I didn't hear a number one anywhere there. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was like, yeah, well, you know, based off this, like, you know, just feeling around, it feels like it's one centimeter. I'm like, if you say so, doc. Okay, uh, so, so get one centimeter out of this. Right. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, well, you know, can we remove it? And he's like, well, you know, that is an option. I don't recommend that to you because you're 21, you're young. Uh, there could be complications with the surgery. And, you know, sometimes people, they, uh, they end up with more pain after the surgery than before because, you know, of surgery and, you know, down there is, as you know, very, uh, yeah, special area sensitive area sensitive yeah. area and all of our joints kind of you know go into the you know area and yeah, yeah. Sure. and uh he said you know built up scar tissue can cause more pains and uh he was like yeah you know hopefully it just goes away soon and you told him that it's been going on for like two plus months and it's getting worse no i was like I was like, it's been a year, man. It's only getting bigger. Oh. It's been hurting for two months, but it's 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 getting bigger. Mm-hmm. He's like, Yeah. Well, you know what we can do when it hurts? I was like, what? He said, You can take ibuprofen. And I was like, yeah, I don't really like taking medicine. Well, you can always hold them up. I was like, What? Excuse me? He's like, you just hold them up. Like to relieve the tension of gravity. Just hold them up. I'm like, you know, a lot of the time it hurts at work. He's like, I can give you, I can give you a note. This fucking guy, man. Bro, Are what? You serious? Yes, bro, dead ass, dead ass. He said, hold him up. I, I would have opened the door and I'd have been like, next. <laughs> like, holy shit, bro. Yo, I, I was so angry. Yeah, I would be like, excuse me, sir, but I, I respect you as a physician, but I am gonna get a second opinion because your opinions are trash right now. Yo. And he, you know, wow, Todd, that's just disrespectful. Like, he saw my face and he, he hold him up. Let's get the fuck out of here. Is he trying to be funny? No, you being dead ass. So he, I guess he saw my face and he was like, uh, he, you know, he saw I was a little bit worried about it. So he's like, you know, it's fine. I have a patient who's, who's had uh, a cyst on his epididymis for 20 plus years. And I looked at him, I said, yeah, I don't really want that to be me, man. Yeah, you said yourself, I'm 21. It, it, it gets I in have, the way. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Jesus. What yeah. What the fuck? My life is shitty. I thought I was playing. Man, what a pain in the ass. Here's the thing, man. I've reached the age where they don't try to fix me. They just give me shit to do now. I go to the chiropractor. I'm like, my hip hurts. He does a little bit of adjustment. Still hurts. Okay, do this stretch in the morning. For how long, doc? No, this is what you do now. <laughs> For the rest of your life. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is life. Yeah. So, yeah, I went back to work the next day. Mm-hmm. And I went to my pharmacy manager and I said, uh, so I'm going to be holding my balls up every once in a while throughout work. Doctor's orders. Got a note. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, are you serious? I was like, yeah. I'm. If this shit hurts, I'm going to fucking grab them and I'm going to hold them up until gravity says, okay, I'll let up. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I am so. My sorry. life fucking sucks, man. Jesus. So I've, I mean, I'm going to the chiropractor for my hip and my shoulder. I've mm-hmm. already gone to the doctor for my ball. So now the only thing that's left that I haven't checked out yet is my ankle. So hopefully, I don't go to the fucking podiatrist and she's like, "Well, yep, gonna have to amputate it." <laughs> it's okay. You get another one. <laughs> it's the same fucking doctor. <laughs> I diversify. <laughs> <laughs> I went to get my second degree. Some people yeah. get in the same field. Fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you so much. But this is what happens, David. Dog, my, yo, so yo so my, my life is a movie, bro. Yep. My life is a movie. I'm telling you what, you should be writing an autobiography. You can turn that into a script. 
and then it'll be a block, blockbuster, and you can retire on that. Somebody else has to play me. I can't play myself. You're I not can't gonna go play this yourself. Twice. They never play the original person based on the book. Yeah, probably never, because mostly because the the fucking person it's written on is, old, is like thirty years over the age of the script. Yeah, by the time that you figure out how to write, I have scripts. enough to like f- to fill from eighteen years old to twenty one years old, and I look the same. Yeah, nothing that's... changes at my hair length. <sighs> Don't get an actor. Anyway, uh, wow, that uh, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, you th- oh, you thought shit was sweet, man. That guy's a ball buster. Shit. I so wish I could end this episode right now. <laughs> I call it early. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jesus, man. Are you all right? Oh, I'm so sorry, man. No, it's okay. I'm not sensitive. I just I'm thinking back to when I was at a doctor and how much I fucking hated that moment. Yeah. I had to like pee in a cup, which I hate doing. Oh, I hate that. I had to too. sit there for like 40 minutes, and I don't have social media, so I'm just staring at the, all the fucking urology. You know how many times I saw the Avildar poster that says if it's a if you have a going problem it could be a growing problem about an enlarged prostate. It, yo, this shit fucking sucks, man. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Welcome to my life. So can you not get a second opinion? I mean, I can, but I mean, I wasted what two months of my life trying to wait for this one daughter. You want to waste the rest of your life, you know, on that? I'm already doing that. One step ahead of you. All right. Well, I mean, that's what you decide to do. Yeah. No, I guess I'll just go to the podiatrist. I guess you just live. I do. Now. I do got to go back to the chiropractor on the twenty fifth because I got to go see my sweetest fish. Yeah, little cutie at the chiropractor. Okay. She looks Swedish, so I'm calling her my little Swedish fish. You know, cute little pet name. She my she my she my little candy because she's sweet. <sighs> just as long as it's not harassment. Who? Anyway. Okay, so uh, enough on that. I- I'm yep. glad that we we got uh, uh, some updates. Uh, I'm so sorry that now it's like indefinite. Well, it'll never be over, I guess. All my problems are terminal. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. true. Yeah. So what what is our main topic yes. today, Andy? So uh, the second half episode question of the week is. Uh, cause last time we were talking about money, like if we had unlimited money, we had a cheat Chee! code for money. Like what your wife does. Chee! Yeah. Chee! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, the question is how would the world change? Uh-huh. Some people have magic ability, like they have magic spells. They can do magic spells uh-huh. and other people can't. Okay. No, maybe that's like uh, Thanos thinking like half the people can do magic or um, 10% of the population can do magic or 1% of the population can do magic. Well, I just think you're going backwards in time. <clears throat> think about it. If we Let's say we have, there's what, 8 billion people in the world? Yes. 8 billion people right. in the world. There's 1 million that could do magic. Sure. Like with I don't know I guess there's some restrictions in your alternate reality where we have magic, or can they just do like a Leviosa Biblusa and then there's fucking the Big Bang Theory all over? Yeah, you. I mean we can like there's refer like some to limited. like Harry Potter. Like some people are like uh, they have like I, they're magically inclined. I've only had it play in the background once at the drive-in. We paid for the movie. We did not see the movie. I've never seen Harry Potter. All right. Um, well, any other type of sci-fi show uh-huh. that has magical abilities. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So imagine we have, so we have eight billion people in the world. A million of them have a million of them. Oh shit! Sound like Eminem. Uh, a million of them have magical powers right now. Right. Yeah. Let's say tomorrow we wake up. There's a million people. So one eighth. So like twelve and a half percent of the what? population. Are you? T- are you dumb? One eighth. One million out of eight billion. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. It's like yeah. point one two. Yeah. Point point one two. I think actually I think it's point zero one two. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, oh hold on. It's like, oh, oh. no, my numbers not go that high. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah, the iPhone though. One. You got to turn oh, it on yeah. the side though. <laughs> It don't it don't fit it it don't fit in in a portrait it fit in landscape. Only ten digits on that one. That's, uh, that's, how many is billion? Eleven? Uh, it's a billion, man. No, a billion's twelve, I think. Oh, you're talking about digits? Yeah. Come on, that was funny. 
<laughs> I don't get these. I'm one, I'm too rusty. I haven't talked to you in a while. One million out of one or eight billion. Eight billion Shit. divided by one million. No, the other way around. No. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> million. Uh huh. No. What? Are you kidding me? What? It doesn't go any more than that. I told you you have to go on, bro. Rand, Rand, Randy, 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 you... <laughs> damn it, Randy, <laughs> dude. Uh, <gasps> sure. Eight billion. Oh shit! I put eighty-eight, eight, eighty-eight. Eight billion, right? You weren't joking. You have to. Wow, this is the first time I I tried <laughs> to put in a billion number in this calculator. I just All got right. it. Eight billion divided God by. God damn. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit. I got eight thousand. <laughs> Andy got the correct number. This is like multiple choice math when you're like your <laughs> final exam and you got like the number seven as your answer, uh, but point zero 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 one two five and eight thousand are your choices. Yeah, you're like I'm gonna fucking fail. <laughs> when the teacher has Jesus. to get multi- uh, options for the for the incorrect answer, she gets me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that point zero 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 one two five percent of the population tomorrow morning has. Uh, uh, magic powers. Yep. That number will go up exponentially within the next 50 years. Think about it. Because we're, I mean, it could, it could go one of two ways, man. Mm-hmm. It could either go the government's, well, it's 100% going to go this way at first. The government's going to fucking take advantage of it. Any government, they're going to take advantage <clears throat> of it and they're going to, you know, use them for personal weapons, all that shit. Then it's also going to be the discrimination type shit mm-hmm. where, you know, other people without powers are going to be like, well, fuck you. You got powers, you know, and then we'll finally get the blacks and the whites to work together for once. Um, yeah, because it, will, it would be like magically inclined and none. Yeah, we're, we're going to it's literally going to go back to segregation. Because it's, Segregate- too, it's too big of a difference. It, it's, it would be like a, a human being to a hashtag hashtag <laughs> hashtag to a. um. Uh, what is that called? Apostrophes? Uh, quotes. Quotes. Ooh, bitch, I'm rusty. <laughs> I haven't spoken English in so long. Um, uh, uh, I don't know. It'd be human being to quote uh, unquote non human being. So, you know, there's going to be yeah. some discrimination, but I feel like eventually they, they'll just start people with the powers are going to start not inbreeding, but like, you know, breeding with each other. Mm-hmm. And that number is just gonna get higher and higher, and then eventually mm-hmm. we're gonna get to the point where we need these magic people to save us from some fucking catas- catalytic, catas- catastrophic, um, fuck man, it's not, I'm having a hard time. Mm-hmm. Catastrophic, mm-hmm. catastrophic, 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 catastrophic uh, dilemma that we're having, yes. and then they're just gonna they're gonna fucking overrun us, because I mean. Yeah, we have guns, but they have fucking magic guns that teleport behind you, you mm, know, and then sure. and then fuck your yeah. wife on the side. <laughs> all in one go. Yeah, exactly. One spell, <clears throat> one spell, three mm-hmm. words does all that. It's just then we're gonna they're gonna fucking overrun us, and then we're eventually the people without powers are just gonna be nothing. That's how the sci-fi movies go eventually. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be. It, it's gonna. Exactly. It, it, it all. See, the craziest part about human beings, you could. It's fucking predictable. Everything it's ends up so in discrimination. Predictable. Yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, everything becomes segregated. For sure. Like uh, like our species is cursed because that's never not gonna happen. Right. Like ten thousand years from now, I don't even know if we're still gonna be around. But if Hopefully. we are, uh. Segregation. There's still gonna be some type of slaves out there. Yeah, you know, in the same species. It's so sad if you really think about it. It's like, I don't. Why do we continue to fight each other? You know, for patches of dirt. After you know? the Super Bowl. Um. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah. Just, just put it all into sport. You know. You know. Whatever. You know. Just put all your anger in that gladiatorial games. Let's bring those back. And it, you're Coliseum's like, still there. Just like the yeah 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 yeah. Let's re- renovate it. You know, get it going. Get some uh, flat ven- screens. Get some <laughs> vendors up in there. You know, 
Uh, but no, like the the movie and show The Purge, you know. Never seen it. it. Never seen it. Well, allegedly, in that reality, uh -huh. um, you know, crime completely decreased because uh, one day a year, like, everybody got one to day do it. of the year for twelve hours, crime was legal. Any and all type of crime, most people went to kill. You know, so uh, it was either um, are you going out there to participate in the mm. purge, like purging all your rage and, and hate and all that shit in a 12 hour block? Or do you stay home and upgrade your house and, you know, to defenses and all that shit? Yeah. So it was kind of like a divide. Yeah, there. divide. But it's um, going to be the same way with the magic exactly. and not magic. Yes, um, and then I'm also I keep on thinking about um, like X Men, you know, like uh, mutants yeah. versus oh, that's a great non mutants. Yeah, and they're like we're just gonna be hunted because we're different and all that stuff. See, and that's why I think it's gonna take a while. Fifty years might even be too too uh too lenient. It might be even longer to like bring that you know point zero 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 one two five percent up because you know they have to go through all the hardships. Of like you know taking in basis of like if we're in the, mm -hmm. the X Men storyline, you know taking mm -hmm. that basis to where everybody hates them and shit, mm -hmm. you know they basically have no choice but to uh, breed with each other though, because they're so outcasted by everybody that's not like them mm -hmm. that you know their options are really only yeah. people that are like them. Well, just like all of the different shows out there, I mean you're gonna have sympathetic, non magical people. That, you know, care about the magical people and all this stuff, you know. So, sure, yeah, they'll be, you know, inbreeding with that, um, possibly. And then, then uh, in, in the Harry Potter terms, um, you know, you got pure blood, which would uh -huh. be two magical people, right? And then uh, half, half reads, oh. or half reads, whatever you want to call it. You know, obviously, it would be non-magical and magical. Yeah. Um. So and then, who knows? However, this would work in this uh, theory of ours, you know, um, uh, or scenario, uh, like, as of tomorrow, would everybody instantly know how to do use their magic? You know, yeah. How strong would their magic be? Would they just all of a sudden, uh, like? Go to reach the mouse, and then the mouse like cut, and the mouse like goes right into my hand, you know, with before I get to the mouse, you know, yeah. and I'm like, that was weird, and it doesn't happen to me again for another seven days. And then you do this, and I'm like, hmm? cool. <laughs> Not nah, see, I'm honestly glad that you uh that you posed this question because recently I've been playing this game called Scarlet Nexus, and this is. Uh, this is actually very like close to the part of it. Basically, uh, like two thousand years before the game takes place, you know there was not really like magic, at least from what it seems like. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the magic people started overtaking it, the 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 world, or you know not overtaking it, but being the majority. Sure. To the point where there was even in hospitals, like in the game, in the hospital, there's like. O items that only magic people can activate you like i have to use your magic to activate like imagine like right now i want to use my phone i just yeah. i just tap the screen mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. i just tap the screen and it turns on now imagine it you know having a phone where it doesn't it doesn't tap you know i tap the screen and nothing turns on right Un mm -hmm. unless i have magic to activate it sure that type of shit now well now you just left out everybody that doesn't have magic so now you're you're making products that lean towards the magic users and not the what sure. what they called it in the game the duds you know they don't have any powers no oh, that's cute you know and they're they're outcasted and discriminated against because they don't have what majority of the people have sure you know it's a it's a fucking i mean honestly it's a great game i love it uh but it's it's like a good it's a good thing to think about you know like mm. how would we react in this sense and i think for you know, a majority of the people can agree that it would be that way. Because mm -hmm. humans already, we're already so, you know, discriminatory and, you know, we, I mean, they named the seven deadly sins because of us, not, not for us. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's, you know, 
history has already proven that you know we're discriminatory based on you know skin color you know yeah. or based on you know where you grew up or something like that because it's not always skin color no it could be skin color region religion sex everything 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 if you're not exactly or very bro, I get similar hated, bro. To, yeah not, not as serious as the other ones but in high school i got hated on because i had a beard Got hated on because you had a bro. Girls hated on me. Why? For that, bro. Just... What would they say? I don't know. Why oh, do I have a third ball, Andy? Look, I don't know the answer to these questions. Look at this man child that is still in high school. <laughs> is that what they would say? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't this nice. It wasn't connecting or anything. It was a baby beard, but still, fuck. Uh, look at Mr. Patches over here. Oh no, <laughs> no, not Patches. It just stopped right here, and it wasn't connecting. Oh, uh, okay. nothing here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Piece of shit. Okay. But yeah, you know, uh, I I think it, it'll be interesting if we have magic users. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, I would love to... I would love to have some type of magic. Oh, Even yeah. Even if it's, like, just the ability to, like, do that and a little flame comes out. No more lighters. Doesn't matter. Like, it's an ability. You know, it's like... Flame on this hand... Magic cigarette on this hand. <laughs> <laughs> it just like glows purple. Yeah, then I'm at the daughter's just, office. He says, Yeah, you're just gonna have to hold them up now. <sighs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> I had to hold what up now? I can make a I can make a magic basket made out of like fucking like light plasma. Yeah. Holding my balls up naturally. I can go up to my girl and be like, babe, you don't need to push a bra. I got it. <laughs> Shit. Modeled right out of my hands. It kind of reminds me of the Green Lantern. You ever seen that movie? I think it's... Gl I'm glad that I didn't see that movie. Oh, okay. I'm so happy that I did not see that. I saw clips, and yeah. I think that's enough. Yeah. I had to see it, because I like Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. and he, I like Ryan Reynolds much, much, much more after that. He totally regrets <laughs> that movie. It's yeah. so funny. Yeah, he makes fun of it in Deadpool. Shit's crazy. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I think Magic... Oh, I would fucking... Me, you know, doing that shit kind of reminds me That imagination me shit? Yeah. Oh, dude. If if my power, my magic was based off my imagination, like it didn't have any limitations in terms of like, you know, what I can make, mm -hmm. I would be in jail. Yeah. 100% in jail. I mean, it's bad enough. Like... Lifelike Rihanna magic model. Fucking... <laughs> Bloop. There's Rihanna. Andy, I, you gotta go, buddy. <laughs> We're making a triple X episode. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Riri. <laughs> yeah. ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. You wouldn't, sure. you wouldn't see me for years. I would not leave this house. Yeah, my wife would ask, where's David? Is he okay? I'm like, oh, he's probably David's in, in, in inning fucking 3009. Bottom of it. Yeah. 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 That's, it's an, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, now you see, nah, I would. I mean, would you be in trouble? You think they would make law? I mean, they have to make laws to combat or you know slash limit what magic users can do. Well, what if I, there's a magic user uh, that you know just spies on people? Sure, you know anything and everything. Yeah, because you know? then I mean, just just think about um, when. I keep on thinking about uh, the X Men, you know, because it's basically just going to be like that. Um, you're going to have all these non magic people that are going to be like, they're a complete threat. You know, they're too powerful or whatever. You know, they're they they must be controlled or whatever. Yeah. You know, like they're, that, they're yeah. they the, they gotta you know we gotta lo lock them lock them up or whatever the fuck you know yeah you gotta I, hunt them down i think it's actually gonna be like uh, the incredibles remember the incredibles the movie mm -hmm. you've seen that one right yeah all right cool We're, let's go to movies that i've seen <laughs> now i've seen x-men i love x-men i've seen that a little uh but like the incredibles they made it to where the superheroes couldn't use their power out in public it was illegal the, I mean, the, the humans, I mean, I, I, I initially, after the, after the discrimination, mm -hmm. uh, or not, well, it's still discrimination, but after mm -hmm. the initial, um, like, uh, rejecting 
stage, uh, just at the beginning of the accepting stage, it's, it's going to go into like, okay, well, don't use your powers on in public. For, and they're going to use the excuse of like, for like equality. You know, we want everybody to be equal. We don't want to shun on shun the people that don't have magic. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, and, you know, we don't want you to to be treated differently because you have magic. We just want everybody to be treated equally so nobody can use magic out in public. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's just going to be like that. Interesting. What about the boys? Have you ever seen the boys? I fucking love the boys. I haven't seen season two, but I saw season right? one. Yeah, that's some good shit. Some good shit, yeah. So, what about that uh, theory? You know, if you're not well, familiar I, I, with that, yeah. like, the uh, superheroes in this mm -hmm. universe um, are, like, superstar, like, quarterback-level shit. Like, that, they got their own sponsors and shit like that. Everything's mm -hmm. corporate. They're all... It, it's insane. I think it's a fascinating universe. Oh, for sure. Like, I've seen... Uh, I've seen all that they have out, uh -huh. and I'm trying to get my wife and you know to watch it with me. But she it's a it's a great like show. It's, it has an adult take. Much. It's an adult take for sure. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, she loves that shit. But like, <laughs> she doesn't love like the, she loves that shit. Yeah, she loves the shit. Um, uh, but she doesn't like the, not so much gore. Mm. And oh my, we watched the first episode, and she is a counselor. Oh, you mean immediately after they talked about Billy Joel, and she gets fucking ran through. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Now I will say, like that show, made me do like a audible, uh, like uh, audible, audible. Yeah, that one. Man, sure. Why not? You. Uh, oh my god, moment. Like, like I never cover my mouth or my <laughs> or anything like that. I'm like, oh <clears throat> shit. You know, every single episode, uh -huh. if I remember right, like me, that did that to me. Like in that show. Yeah, it was, it and was I'm like, boring. holy fuck! <laughs> My favorite was when she sat on the dude's face and it crushed him. That's how I want to go. Spoiler alert, Rihanna. <laughs> please, sit spoiler on alert. Uh, yeah. So she, um, uh, because she's a counselor, like she understands like all the the mental stress that these characters are in, and she's like, this is too fucking heavy for me right now uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you know what i mean so i don't know she's gonna have like a clean slate to watch that show and it's uh -huh. the beginning of the semester if you hey, know what i mean how's billy doing he he, he died well now you got a clean slate no more <laughs> no more oh. students for you <laughs> oh no you stopped that right there that's not funny um people die andy it's okay and that's what's gonna happen to the magic users yeah you think that? Yeah, initially. Or do you think sure. that they're gonna take or corporates are gonna like form and they're gonna take advantage of these people? People are gonna take advantage of people no matter what. The government's gonna do it, and then eventually, when they start accepting the magic users into the normal, you know, has, you know, hashtag I keep saying fucking hashtag into normal quote unquote no, quote fuck quote unquote normal society. Quote, quotes. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then it, yes, they will be taken advantage in a different way. Mm -hmm. I mean, they take advantage of people now. Think mm -hmm. about it. You know, we, yeah. uh, you know, the white people used to take advantage of the, of uh, the black people back in the day. You know, slavery. You know, that happened. That was a, a fact. Thing. That was a thing. That's a fact. And then, uh, you know, you know, they weren't accepted socially in a society for the most mm -hmm. part. Uh, and then, you know, now we're at a point where they are accepted so uh, socially. Where black people are accepted, but you know, there's still people that are trying to take advantage of them corporately, mm -hmm. not in the same way as before, but still in a different way. I feel like the same thing is gonna happen with it's the magic still and non magic. Users. Fucked up because there's it's all these things up. that are like, yes, it's equal, but um, they only can see what they can see, and yeah. you know, a lot of these people really can't see, you know, the whole picture, yeah, because they're, they're only showing half of the half of the page. Yeah, and yeah. they can't, you know, uh, you know, whatever, right? You know, cause, but it's it's all it's all fucked up. Yeah, I mean, it, they're just gonna take the, they're gonna take advantage of the magic users the same way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Until the magic users are the majority, Un unless that number that point zero 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 one two five percent switches to that being the non magic users, 
then they're not going to take advantage of the magic users. But then again, that, that might flip to, well, now they're going to take advantage of the non-magic users. But they're magically inclined. So even if there's a million magical users and they all banded together, which is a big group, uh-huh. um, they could take control of yeah. the uh, world. How many of those million people do you think are going to be Hash, you know, I keep saying fucking hashtag, <laughs> quote unquote leaders, you know, or, you know, willing to do that. These are going to be regular people, too. Who knows? Hey, who knows? Yeah. Yeah, you know? anything's possible. Could they I be, mean, do they have to be born with magic or can they just wake up one day? Can I just wake up tomorrow and, be, and have magic? <clears throat> because then I'm going to have the 21 years of experience prior to shape who I am. Mm-hmm. You know, instead of you're born that way and it's something that's new. Mm-hmm. Quote unquote, the hashtag. Then you, that's all you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's it's something nice to think about. Mm-hmm. So hopefully you guys think about that shit. You know, think about that shit at home. How do you feel about that? Let us know in the comments below so we can't answer. So we won't answer. We don't look at our YouTube. <laughs> I mean, you you get notifications on your phone. Yeah, I keep getting overrun by Reddit notifications. I haven't posted on our Reddit in like so long. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Nah, I'll see the comment. I'll post. I, I, I'll, I'll reply. I always reply. Listen. And within we'll like five minutes, I'll reply. For sure. I'm always awake. And we will I can't reply. Sleep. It's for a problem. Sure. But yes, um, we would love to hear what you have to say yeah. about uh, magically inclined people. Um, what do you think that would happen uh, to this society uh, based on our scenario that we went, uh, went on a little adventure with? Um, <laughs> One million magical, you know, users randomly um, the next day randomly appeared, you know, with their ability, you know, tomorrow, um, with like eight billion people on the planet, you know. What does that look like? And for the immediate future, what does that look like in the long term future? What does that look like a thousand years from now, two thousand years from now? You know, who do you think is gonna take over? Yeah. It's me. It's it's real. My Shit. third ball. That's the magic user. <laughs> <Your third ball. laughs> it's yeah. the magic user. Um, <clears throat> I really, you know. Okay, so if we if we have to choose uh-huh. right now, what do we predict that would happen? Um, it will be that these people uh will be hunted down. But, I think, but the numbers will be dwindling. But dwindling. Was, yeah, but then there will still be like a good amount of these people, and they'll just band together, like Jumper, like Jumper. I love that movie. Yeah, what do you think? I th- final answer. Well, I mean, you have to break it down. I think for the immediate future, I agree with Andy. And then, you know, fifty to a hundred years from now, you know, if this happened tomorrow, yeah, uh, it's gonna flip, or at least it's gonna be to where. They're like the boys. It's mm-hmm. I feel like it's gonna turn into like the boys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, obviously not as like flashy and entertainment wise like that, you know. Mm-hmm. But I feel like corporate wise they will take advantage of it, but they'll be seen as acceptable and like godlike. I don't know. Um by that time they'll have another generation. Oh uh, yeah, two, uh, it was like five to seven mm-hmm. different generations on that. Yeah. So Fuck, I'll be knows? the baby boomer of that generation. Yeah, who knows? You know, by that time, um, you know, who knows if the abilities are, you know, greater. Um, yeah, because it's evolution. Wise. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, let us know how you feel, too. That's how I feel. How, how... Finish that sentence for me. That's how we feel. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I tell you what, um, let's meet back up in a month. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We'll, 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 we'll try it next week. Yeah, we'll shoot for it. We'll yeah. see how my blood pressure looks. As long as we're doing okay, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll meet back up again. Yep, for sure. Uh, but it was great seeing you guys again, uh, yeah. all of three of you. And uh, David, it was good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too, Andy. I don't oh, have a flashing you. white streak due to my blood pressure, so I could see you perfectly fine. I was going pretty bad. Need to get that look. <laughs> yeah, bad, uh, so Andy, how do you feel about this episode? Was it good enough? No. No, no, it it will never be good enough, and uh, you know I'm just glad that hopefully our audio is working, and video. Me too. <laughs> All right, catch you next time. All right, bye.
Let me just start off by saying my hair looks fucking purtiful. Per skip that. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs>